Alright guys, this is just another gray and gloomy, sticky, yuck, fucking mid-August day. It is Friday, August 20th, 2021, and uh, it was 38 years ago today. Good God, 38 years ago that uh, I told this mouthy little this nasty, mouthy little bitch that uh, I would be her faithful husband till the day I die or something like that. I honestly need to go back and uh, <clears throat> look at my wedding vows, which I wrote myself, those vows, to decide how much I lied to that bitch uh, 38 years ago. that my seven years of bliss began and uh, good guy just thinking thinking about uh, bad marriages good marriages just you know this whole fucking relationship mess that this whole f you know fuck Don Juan Matus would always talk about the one thing he, 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 you know, that he could turn into a fucking crow, but he could not figure out how to be in a long-term successful relationship with a woman. That uh, fucking relationships, uh, they, they eat your fucking brain. And uh, half the people who aren't in uh, relationships uh, and go on that fucking pile of fish uh, all of that fucking energy oh, wanting to fall in love get together with your little soulmate and your twin flame and uh, get your little path together all of this shit you, you, have, you have that group of people and on the other fucking side of the coin uh, all of these miserable fucking marriages with, with people stuck in these fucking dead end, j j just, uh, you know, this, these pits of despair. Seven fucking years uh, I dealt with that toxic fucking bitch. Uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if that woman is dead or alive, my dear sweet ex-wife Lulu, wherever you are, Lulu. Jesus fucking Christ, what was that? What the fuck was I thinking? What the fuck was I was thinking? I was 23 years old. <clears throat> I've told this story before. I'm, I'm not going no, to tell the ham sandwich story again, but I have mentioned uh, that the reason I got married at age 23 is because I honestly believed at age 23, which I believe again now at age... Uh, at age 61, I believe it again, but at age 23, when I was actually a, uh, a, a pretty good looking catch, I actually believed I was never going to have sex again, that I was never going to find a woman uh, on this planet uh, who would have sex with me uh, when I was 23 years old. I, I believe this, and I went into this fucking panic and I just picked out uh, the two women uh, that uh, I enjoyed having sex with the most. And if the first one had said no, I was just going to go to the second one. <clears throat> it was about the fucking pussy. I got married because of pussy. Well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> and here I am, 61 years old in a fucking panic uh, that I'm never going to have sex again. Uh, at least with anybody I want to have sex with. And since there's only one person on the fucking planet I want to have sex with, I guess I'm fucked or not fucked again. But anyway, uh, I, I, I still, I, 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 mean, uh, I, I mean, that woman that I want to have sex with uh, is in some fucking 
a bad dead end fucking marriage going nowhere. It's it's, it's like uh, half the people in the fucking Doomosphere right now are, are somewhere in the middle of uh, you, you know, and and at some point. Uh, and, and the fucking marriage falling apart. Just want nothing more to get the fuck out of this fucking marriage. What the fuck was I thinking? But there are a few, and I'm sure that Basil and Karen would not mind me uh, mentioning them. There are a few. I know, I think I know two couples in my life, two couples who have been married for at least what at least 30 years that are in uh, you know good loving mutually supporting marriages uh, you know it, it's your fault Basil and Karen is your fault that I uh, have been so miserable because every time you know these, these two uh, uh, Basil and Karen when did you guys get married? Is it over 30 years ago. I, I mean, these two clearly are still in love. They're each other's best friends. Uh, I know that it can happen. Uh, my, my friends out in uh, out in Mendocino, California, they have been married now. Good Lord, they've been married close to 50 years. Uh, they adore each other. Uh, they would be, you know, just absolutely, you know, when one of them dies, just the absolute tragedy. Uh, I knew one in, in Austin, Texas, I know two happily married couples, but uh, the woman just died, just dropped dead from a brain aneurysm. And I just never had the heart to call her husband. Uh, but anyway, you know, it's, it's just one more fucking uh, pipe dream in, in, in my fucking life. You know, just like uh, what I'm doing right now is, is going uh, up to uh, Ithaca, you know, to buy this shit to get ready for my big corn harvest that I just, uh, look at these corn fields all ready to harvest. And, you know, I'm getting ready to fucking harvest my corn. My fucking corn tastes like shit. I don't want to fucking eat it myself and I would be embarrassed to sell it. I'm getting ready to throw 2,000 fucking ears of corn in the fucking, in, in, in the fucking river. You know, the, the second I finished that video about that corn, uh, I reached down to pick my very first piece of okra out of the garden. Now my okra harvest is coming in. Uh, two seconds after clicking off that fucking camera, I, I bit into the very first piece of okra in, in, in my garden. Tasted just like the fucking ear of corn. I, I just bit into a piece of tasteless fucking cardboard. And then I go over, you know, to my tomatoes, which has just been sitting in a pool of fucking water uh, for the past 36 hours. I say, well, at least I've got these delicious tomatoes. And now what is happening is the tomatoes are literally exploding with, uh, you know, from all of this water. Uh, they have so much juice in them that they're just cracking and exploding. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I've got probably 500 uh, of these beautiful tomatoes uh, getting ready to come in. And, and uh, they're sitting out there in this fucking waterlogged soil. And we have days, and out of the next 10 fucking days, it's supposed to rain fucking nine out of the 10 days, uh, you know, my tomato crop uh, is blowing up literally in my fucking face. It's a fucking cornfield. Fucking doomer chicks. Uh, you know, there's one fucking thing. I just want one fucking thing. Uh, it's like, why the fuck do I, I get out of fucking bed every morning? 38 years ago today, 38 years ago today, 
it was, uh, I remember, it was 106 degrees in Cleveland, Georgia. We had 106 people at my wedding and uh, 106 uh, degrees uh, on August 20th, 1983 in Cleveland, Georgia. What a fucking day. And we didn't even fuck on our honeymoon. The day we get married, we didn't even, you know, that, that should have been a sign like Hambone, uh, <laughs> not having sex on the day you get married. Oh, Jesus. But we did, we did have sex on the uh, three hours before the infamous ham sandwich episode. And I will say the sex was pretty good for about a year after we got divorced. Uh, that was some of the best sex we ever had. Uh, was n nothing that uh, th there's nothing that reinstills passion into a marriage like getting divorced. Oh, Jesus! What a fucking life. Here I am, heading off in into this next chaotic adventure. Uh, starting my little organic produce stand to sell a bunch of fucking organic cardboard to clueless fucking morons. Oh. What the fuck is this I'm coming up to in the road? Fuck, gotta go deal with this. There's some fucking cops and shit. I need to put this up. Bye, guys. Another roadblock ahead. Fuck.